YouTube, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Overstrand and today we're going to be jumping into a Q&A. I posted a tweet a few days ago asking you guys to ask me questions to be in a video and I believe we have like 260 comments as of now. I don't know how I'm going to answer them all, but let's jump straight into it and see if we can answer all these questions in under 10 minutes, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to start with the first tweet here. Why are you so cool? I have an air conditioner. Beautiful. That was easy. What does when you do that thing that does was is isn't wasn't do by Swifty? A bit of an interesting question here. My response to that, um, yes. Uh, exactly. Albert FN, why is your name Overstrand? I made my name uh, back in the Roblox days when I was like seven years old. And I don't know. I've just always been someone who's after like kind of cool names and semi short. Uh, Overstrand's not too short, but it's a nice clean name. So. I've just stuck with it, you know? Uh, what's 60 plus 9 by Tekmar here? 70. Uh, Modes Smiley Face says, How did you start your journey, and how will you continue to improve? I started my journey when I was playing Overwatch back in the day, and I decided to stream it because I saw a lot of people streaming, and I just wanted to check it out. Um, and now here I am. It's It's been definitely one of my passions, but I would definitely want to continue to improve in a lot of different ways, but definitely in, in how I approach streaming content creation personally and how i can share my moments uh with you guys so uh, t1ke says what would your alternative be if you couldn't be a content creator good question probably something into acting writing or being a chef i probably wouldn't be the best at any of those but i enjoyed them when i did them when i was younger so probably one of those three when did you move to australia and did you want to we moved to australia about 14 maybe even 15 years ago so quite a while and honestly i don't even remember I don't even remember if I wanted to, but I, I'm happy now, and I enjoy Australia. Uh, JKR Auto says, best advice to grow your stream. Grow yourself on different platforms. Trust me, do not stream on Twitch and expect to get viewership. Other platforms have way more potential to blow up overnight, so grow yourself on YouTube, Discord, Twitter, TikTok, any of other social platform, and then bring those viewers over to Twitch. Trust me, it works. Waves says, how did you join Power? I sent them a TikTok of me dancing. Got me in very successfully. Would highly suggest. Uh, Rio here says, is iw 4 fun funny? He is not funny. He uses the same jokes about 10 times a day uh, for two months straight. So, <laughs> get good. Aussie Snail says, can you make a little montage of all the times you have messed up your intro and everything else? That would be a long montage, dude. Holy smokes. Harlow says, favorite animal? Dog. 100%. How do you have such a good mindset and positive attitude towards everything? Everyone should become more like you, to be honest. Thank you, Zanical. Um, honestly, I think anyone can. I think it's really just a decision. Um, but it's it's definitely it's definitely a hard one. It's tricky because having a positive outlook is 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 all how you want to approach what you're doing. For me, I didn't want to get angry at the games I, I, I played. I got punished for a lot of it back when I was younger. So it was definitely a turn of events for me that um, I don't want to be like that anymore. So. Uh, Lem says, how do you balance your schedule the best you could, and when things you can't control get in the way, how do you cope with that? That's a difficult one, but um, I'm normally quite a scheduled guy, so normally the day beforehand, I know what I'm going to do the next day. But when things don't go my way, I, I don't know if I cope with it. <laughs> I'm not the best at dealing with um, with things that change last minute, but um, they definitely do, and... Um, sometimes I kind of just go into the mode where it's like, you just got to go with the flow sometimes and you just got to work with what works and be as efficient as you can. Zara here said, what's your main motivation? Honestly, seeing when hard work pays off. And I know that's stereotypical, but when you put a lot of effort into something, um, especially like YouTubing or streaming or whatnot, and you see the numbers really grow and benefit and, and the people who support around you, it just, it, it pushes me to like make more content and make better content and to improve because I know people are watching and I know more and more people are watching and, and that in and of itself really motivates me. Spikes says, one factor which plays a big role to achieve success, I would honestly say growth. Um, growing in every situation that you approach and just learning and, and putting the mindset to improve in that is such a powerful thing and honestly, that's the end game of things. Uh, Scapsy here says, what is your biggest long-term goal? That's a hard one to, uh, to look into, but definitely happiness in whatever I'm doing. I would, I would have to say, because definitely like what I'm doing now, it, 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 it doesn't satisfy. Like the, you always want more numbers. You always want that more growth. Um, so definitely I want to get to a stage. Like my end goal is to not only like grow through what I'm doing, but to be satisfied with what I have. Um, and that growth can be anything extra. 
but just to be happy with where I am in content creation. Um, but it's it's very much uh, a situational one. You definitely gotta like ask yourself some questions and, and whatnot, but um, I normally just shake it off because I know just arguing with them is gonna turn into more arguments and more hatred and they're gonna block you and you're gonna block them and then, you know, then you don't have any friends. So yeah, be careful with the fights that you take. Baby Yoda said, how you going Overstrain? I'm doing great. How you going? And what inspired you to be in power? Honestly, since the day I remember the day like power was announced, um, I think I was in like a VC with a bunch of mates. We're like, dude, what is this? This is so cool. Um, but really just like, you know, Lachlan Shans, the people behind it, the competitive players, like it's just such a cool environment. And I, I love the passion behind it. And I love just the want to grow and like um, do so much through it. And it was just really cool because Fortnite was in a really down time at the period. And, and the push that Lachlan made is just like, bringing a really cool org in there to bring incredible people together to just push out incredible content is something that i'm just like like literally within the first week i was like yeah that's something i would like that's definitely one of the dream orgs alongside like 100 thieves you know so um yeah it was a that was a huge inspiration for me are you happy with where you have gotten in streaming good question mystics honestly i am um, but I want more, and I guess that's the difficult thing where it never satisfies. Like, it, it gets to a point where things don't seem to satisfy, and so I think that's definitely, like, a big goal for me, where I want to get to the stage where things are just... I, I'm satisfied with, with what I have, and I, I think that's that's something I definitely want to get to the point of. I reach a goal, I'm satisfied for that, you know, for the next few days or whatnot, but the satisfaction just kind of goes away after a little while and you kind of just want to keep pushing for more and I guess that's the good mindset because it's like oh you just keep pushing for greater better improvement but it gets to a stage where you're just never really satisfied with where you are and I don't really like that so in conclusion I am I am very happy with where I am um definitely Kaleo said at your age what motivated you to take such a path instead of something like university or TAFE I think I did full-time streaming around uh, when I was like 15, 16. Then I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. I didn't like school as much. I was doing online American curriculum. Uh, I loved gaming. That was the thing I just, I did all the time. And I don't know, I never wanted to study. I just wanted to play games. And I, I guess the motivation for streaming really came where I was like, I could play games but I could turn this into a job, and that was like a really cool thing back then. Elite says, what do you get from Guzmani Gomez? Oh my gosh, large chicken burrito, guacamole on the side. You get your beautiful green salsa in the middle with some tortilla chips and extra guacamole. Dude, that is the god combo. Watching some good old anime along the side, Attack on Titan. Oh, that is the dream. Anyhow, guys, that's going to be it for today. I've just been scrolling through. There's so many comments, guys. I can't get through all of these. But thank you so much uh, for watching. I'll definitely do more of these. Definitely. Um, I'm thinking of doing a second uh, Q&A maybe in the future sometime. But thanks for submitting these awesome questions. Hopefully, you guys found out a little bit more about me. And yeah, have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll catch you guys uh, in the next YouTube video. Peace.